Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. We'll get to refining here very soon because we need to do that. But I want to um, take a look at uh, at how these stations are loading right here. And uh, see that green that green wire is actually necessary because that's turning our, our science off. Um, in the comments, uh, Tyler made a recommendation, and uh, I, I think it's it's a really good idea. The problem that we have right here is that basically all of our red science is prioritizing this 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 chest right here and the same thing with the green um, they're not being distributed evenly and uh, as science starts to back up and uh we, we start getting less and less of it in the trains uh, because the train's full um that's this chest is going to basically just have all the science in it and once this one fills up then this one will and so it's going to be loading completely off of this so we need to come up with a system to basically make these load evenly er and uh, there's a number of different ways to do it um a number of different ways um i think i'm going to do it kind of in a, a more complex way uh just to play with some mathematical operations these combinators have um that don't get used a whole lot at least uh, from from some of the things that uh, that 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 I've seen uh, people do with Factorio, I, I've even heard the statement made that uh, the the mod operator is not necessarily useful. Um, so let's go ahead and wire these inserters up, and I want to wire them into the back of this combinator, which is going to be an arithmetic combinator. And uh, I want to set all of these to read their hand contents. I'm going to go ahead and override the stack size on these just to one. So it's it's all one at a time. All right. So you guys are all set up to read your hand contents. And I want to send that into this, uh, which is going to be a counter. We just want to count. Uh, we're basically counting how much science these guys have grabbed and put into the uh, put into their chests. So we're just going to keep, and that's just going to increment. It's going to increment by one every time one of these guys grabs a science thing. Okay, and then I want to send that signal into the back of this combinator. And I want to take... each signal coming in... Well, Actually, let's uh, each signal coming in hmm. I'm wondering if we can do both sides. Okay, what we can do is get hit by a train, uh, not fatally, so we're okay. Uh, we'll take the red science count. We're going to mod it by one, two, three, four, five, six, since that's how many inserters that we have. And we are going to output that as uh, some variable, A. And then I want to take that on a red wire and move that back up into those inserters. So um, basically the mod operator, what it does, uh, this is just gonna keep a, a running count, right? It's gonna keep going up and up. Then we're gonna take that and mod it by six, which is the number of these that we have. And this mod operation is going to return the remainder of that. Um, so if the number of red science that we've counted so far is divisible by six, the remainder of that is going to be zero. And then it's going to be a remainder one, then two, then three, then four, then five. And then it's going to go back to zero. Uh, so this is always going to return a number between one and zero. It's going to be the remainder of a division operation of uh, this total divided by six. So it doesn't matter what this number is. It can just keep going up forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It doesn't matter. Once we divide it by six, it's going to return us a value between zero and one. So if we say um, if A equals zero, uh, you can be active. 
And uh, let's just go ahead and take that logic all the way down and say A equals one, then you'll go. Then A equals two, then A equals three, A equals four, and then A equals five. And uh, that should do what we want. So it's going to be, this one's active, and it's just going to keep going, going back and forth in that pattern. And that should keep our chests nice and even. Okay, now that we're getting that stuff down. Okay, it's going to kind of slow down a little bit toward the end because this guy is currently active. Now that one, now that one. That one this will be next. And this one. All right, that 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 looks pretty pretty good to me. Now we should be able to use um, the same kind of thing over here. We can feed this into the back of that counter. We want to be careful not to mix up uh, the red networks that we have. And uh, let's see. I guess we're going to need another arithmetic combinator. Right, because uh, we're doing the red signal over there, the red science signal there, and we're gonna take want to take that into the back of that whenever we create it. Uh, do I have my robots off? Apparently I do. There we go. Uh, take that signal into the back of there, and then take uh, green science now. Uh, why I had to split them up because it's actually a, a separate signal over here. And then send that out to this as A. All right, and we should be able to just copy the logic over here. Just like that. A little bit, uh, a little bit crazy, a little bit over engineered. Um, I'm sure there are probably other ways to do that, um, but uh, this one will will definitely work, and it should keep these chests nice and evenly uh, d distributed and uh, nice and even. And that will maximize uh, the loading time as the train comes through, at least in theory. Completely and totally practical, that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and set this system up down here on the military science. Uh, we will roll the intro, and then I want to get into making some uh, refining. What's going on down here? What are you missing? Nothing. Looks like you just got your uh, nice supply of bricks there. And uh, we are producing some military science now, yes? Yes. All right, taking a look at our refining setup, um, I'm kind of wanting to kind of leave the refining setup right here and just build off of it. Um, there are some other places that we could do it, uh, but it's 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 all right here. <laughs> and we already have a lot of uh, a lot of fluids here that are um, currently um, here already. Um. So yeah, let's go with that idea in mind. Um. How are you doing here? You've got eight thousand. Uh, can we make another tank real quick, just to go ahead and drain you out? Uh, the train, that is. Remove that. Okay, that's empty. Uh, we can go ahead and pull you up. And uh, start working on um, basically replacing this station up here because it's really not doing a lot for me uh, the way that it is right now. Um, okay... Um, this is just going to be our oil station. I'm not sure we're going to need a lot of stackers or anything like that. 
but it's certainly possible. Um, if we take our just station template out and base it like off of this, what are we what are we looking at? Um, this isn't bad. Um, this isn't bad. Let's go ahead and turn off our robots. We'll have to do a little bit of uh, creative uh, construction and stuff here, but I think it's a good start. Um, if we place that down and then come here and just kind of modify some of the ghosting here. And uh, get rid of some of the garbage and uh, get rid of some of the garbage. Yeah, we don't need don't need any of that. Do I have to remove the train track to, to get rid of the ghost? It appears the answer to that question is yes. Oh no, I just gotta put my mouse in the right spot. Okay, that works. Um so yeah, that'll come up like that. Um let's see, this is going to end there ish. It's gonna take. It's gonna take all that out. That's good though. Uh, and let's see. Let's take all that out as well and turn our robots back on, and uh, they can get to work. Basically, um, restoring this, getting all this stuff built. What's the matter, guys? Ah, I see. They're not prioritizing taking trees down. I'll help how I can. Um, all right, let's take this back. Um, you start your leave there. Okay, so I'm, I'm using I'm using the rotate button. Doesn't doesn't seem to be helping me. Um, I didn't hit number lock or anything, no. Yeah, I don't I don't want it to do that. Um <laughs> I wanted to do that, but curve down and go that way. So we'll just do it uh just do it like this, and then I can shift it and it'll do that. All right, just needs a little, uh, just needed a little, a little loving push there to to get to get to get to doing what I wanted it to do. All right, trim off this spur stuff there. Fill in that hole and that hole. That is actually a signal that was blocking that. All right, and I think we can work with this uh, once we clear out, uh, basically clear out all this stuff. We don't need, this is, these are going to be uh, fluid stations. They're gonna follow a little bit different uh, logic than everything else. Uh, they're gonna need, you're gonna need uh, uh, less belts too, I think, yeah. All right, so um, what kind of stations are we going to need up here? I think we're going to need... Um, one uh, for passenger stuff. Uh, one for our fluids. One... For other stuff and possibly another. Okay, I think that's. Oh, we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need incoming oil too. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> it's probably got the names. Uh, let's just name all these oil right now. Uh, just to keep little straggler rogue trains like that from from visiting us 
randomly. Um, okay, let's see. Do we have enough room to work with here? Let's make some tanks. Uh, we can make a couple of pumps. Let's make a couple of pumps. Um, somebody's out of gas. Who are you? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we're not uh, we're not setting that train up anywhere. Uh, that's okay. We'll, science will just stall out for a little bit. Um, okay, so we're going to need a train that drops off oil. Okay, fair enough. Looks good. Um, and that is actually going to replace those oil tanks there. Um, I don't have any pipe. Uh, that's okay. We can still we can still work with it. Uh, so we'll have one train station that drops off oil. And um, I'm thinking that I'm wanting to do barreling again. And I know some people are sighing right now, and uh, I, I understand that. But I think it's going to be a little bit easier to deal with that than it is going to be with all the individual fluids. And plus, I think if we barrel, we can pretty much do it all with, uh, with one car. Well, two cars if you count uh, the barrels coming back. Oh, maybe we can still we can still do it with one. Um, not quite sure how many refineries we're going to need, though. But if we do the drop off there, uh, we're going to need water coming in, which is right here. So maybe we do our our barreling on this side and just grow the refinery out in that direction. I think I like that idea. Um, in order to do barreling, we're going to need steel um, starting out. We do have some steel down here. And we're also going to need all of our fluids. Let's take this out for now. And uh, let's move it down just to get it kind of out of the way. Uh, this plastic maker is not, it's, it's, it's not long for this world. It's just there while we're making blue science here. Once we move blue science to the other part of the world, uh, that all this, uh, all this stuff's gonna need to go away. All right, so we're gonna need, um, one, two, three. I'm trying to think how many, how I did this in Impractical Factorio, how many uh, barreling machines that I made. Um, let's just, just kind of lay some stuff out here and, and think about things here. Uh, we are going to need... Oh, here it is right here. Uh, we're going to have to fill up petroleum gas barrels. Um, that's for sure. And in order for you to do that, uh, can we grab some pipe? I wasn't making that in the mall, was I? No, I think what I was doing was we have this pipe maker right here that's also making gears. I think I was just stealing from it. Uh, we'll steal those pipes. Uh, we'll steal some iron, and uh, let's visit these uh, chests over here because I think I may have some. Actually, call this garbage that I have. Wood, uh, pipes, good. Actually, let's keep some of that coal in case we run into that rogue train. Uh, we can we can fix that. All right, let's uh, make up some underground pipe and come back up here and see what we can do. You know what? Uh, do we have... 
Can we make uh, some more burners? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what do we need for those? Stone. Oh, actually, we have eight right here. Huh, I should have looked. I did not. Uh, but we're going to need stone furnaces. Uh, how many of that? We have 16, so that is going to be eight of those. And eight of those. I have no idea if that calculation was right. It didn't feel right. Oh, and those uh, those want wooden power poles. I know we have some of those down here. I could use the steel, but uh, I don't think wooden power poles burn anymore. So there's really no other way to get rid of them other than to use them for, uh, for making power. I, I could be mistaken about that. And uh, boy, I hope we have enough coal to support that. Uh, let's put an output priority on that side just, just for fun. All right, I was over there. I was making pipe is is what I was doing. Okay, so if we had empty barrels coming that way. And you guys were sending out your stuff. We could fit petroleum like that, maybe. In an underground, uh, something something like that. And so that we'd need one for petroleum. Um, do we need to send light oil out for anything? Uh, petroleum, definitely. We need that for advanced circuits. We need that for sulfur. Um, productivity modules, those just take... And electric furnaces, those just take... Um, am, am I wrong here? What does an electric electronic furnace take? Can we make those? Okay, so that's just plastic. Uh, you're just plastic. All we need is petroleum. Oh, what is, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not thinking about yellow science. Uh, what do we need? What do we need for that? Uh, yellow science. Processing units. Okay, that requires sulfuric acid. That requires plastic. Uh, flying robot frames. Those require... Those require lubricant, I believe. Lubricant for the electric engine and um, sulfuric acid for the batteries, which take sulfur, which requires petroleum, and also water. Okay, we need that for the blue chips, too. So petroleum and water. Um, I was trying to think, uh, do we have anything that needs um, heavy oil? The answer is we need lubricant, which we already have lubricant being made right there. So maybe we want to barrel lubricant. Not very much lubricant, but some lubricant. And then I think we want to barrel water uh, for the sulfuric acid but I think that's it um, since they made the change we no longer need solid fuel so there's really no use for light oil anymore 
I mean, other than to make solid fuel, which uh, doesn't seem that particularly necessary anymore. Yeah, but we could just do our um, just do our barreling uh, right down here. Okay, so this this and this and uh, those would go up to our train station to be loaded. And then we'd need a we need a belt coming down that has uh, that that is creating the the barrels, and uh, we are going to want to split that. If I I remember that uh, we want a one two three balancer. Uh, what if we did a two to three balancer? We did a two to three balancer. It would look ridiculous. Uh, that's 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 what would happen. Okay, I'm I'm all I'm all for ridiculous. Yeah, let's put that right there. That will stretch. Uh, barrels coming for you. Barrels for you. And the reason why I want to do that is because it seemed like um, in Impractical Factorio, we ran into an issue where um, barrel baggage, uh, we would, uh, it, it was an issue. It was, it was, it was a thing. Uh, that uh, basically, because the way, if you just split it off using splitters, um, it splits the first one off into uh, 50% and the second one into uh, 225s. Um, which actually might not be a bad idea. Uh, it, it'll, it'll all back up. It'll all back up. So th this, it'll all, it'll all work out in the end. All right, and this one I want to have um, being supplied from the train. So all these are going out to train. This will be our recycle line. And then I want to get an additional one coming in here. And I only want to use half of this belt, I believe. That makes me wonder um, how we're going to get steel up here. Well, we have steel somewhere. I know it. Ah, it's right here. Uh, we could bring it up here for now just to get things, um, just to get things moving. We've pretty much uh, surrendered this area up here to spaghettiage, so I don't see any reason to not continue on with that tradition. Let's see, are you maxed out? I don't think so. Okay, and uh, we'll say just for now 
that will only use half of the belt for barrels, and that will be the inside of the belt. Uh, you make empty barrels. It is still just steel, right? Okay, thank goodness. We didn't add anything else in there, like, uh, I don't even know what you would add in there. Uh, but you can go ahead and start the process and uh, get those uh, get those barrels nice and backed up. And um, if we put an input priority on this side, it's going to favor the barrels that are being um, that are being recycled back. So once we get enough barrels into the system. Eventually, this will back up, uh, this will back up, and this won't produce anymore. So it puts a little bit of control on how many barrels you have. Um, never have enough barrels, it seems. All right, let's see. Can we get this powered in a reasonable way? All right, that should be good. Um, you are not hooked up. Uh, but it appears that everybody else is. Now, why aren't you... Shouldn't you be grabbing barrels? No, I'm unbarreling you. That is not what we want to do. There we go. And you are doing barrels, so you should have barrels. All right. I think that looks pretty good to me. Uh, we can take these and run them up to a station. And uh, then we'll want another station that is going to be all about um, uh, just emptying just emptying out barrels. Uh, let's go what did we have we had uh, we had we had those items there I, I don't think we're gonna use a lot of lubricant and I don't think we're gonna use a lot of water I think most of it's going to be basically just uh, uh, petroleum so we may dedicate one side of this to petroleum and uh, the other side to can we do this with one okay let, let's think about this uh, what if we brought in Just kind of thinking out loud here. Uh, we turn you two into filter inserters. We get another belt. Coming around. Uh, you guys load up the petroleum. And you guys set you to unload empty barrels, and then we can do it all with one train, right? Does that even have any hope of working? Uh, so if we made, like, a, a row dedicated to empty barrels for bringing those back and then did um, uh, some lubricant. Um, some water. And then just did the rest of that petroleum.
I mean, it looks like we're sending out a lot more barrels than we're returning, and, and that is true. But, um... I mean, a lot of a lot of the barrels are just going to be sitting and waiting uh, to be processed. They're not actually going to be um, not actually going to be. So if we sent you guys out, uh, that would be our barrel return line. And yeah, we'll load up stuff there, and that saves us a station, and we can do this with just two, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Um, I am continuing my tradition of uh, going way, way over time on these, but I do really, really thank you for watching. And uh, I do appreciate uh, the comments and suggestions. I, I'm, I, I don't have any, um, I'm not, I'm not tied to anything in this series, if that makes sense. So I, I really am taking a lot of the suggestions and comments and things like that to heart and uh, really, really trying to think about how we would want to to implement something like that in in the base um yeah none of this stuff is is completely set in stone but um yeah i, I do i do thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it uh i will see you in the next episode where uh hopefully we can get this oil situation cinched up and uh maybe start working on blue science uh, we're totally not going to start working on blue science, but I, I thought I'd be somewhat optimistic. Um, that is going to definitely be a future goal. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.